thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. I just want to thank you, Lord. You've been so good. You've been so, so good. You've been so, so good. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, you Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, you Lord. Oh. And I just want to thank you, Lord. You saved, oh, you saved me, Lord. Ooh, you saved me, Lord. Ooh, you say me when I was a rich and done, you say you say me. God bless you. Thank you for coming on. God bless you. All righty. Father God, we come to you this morning. God, we thank you for this opportunity to dive in your word to be refocused, realigned with whatever it is, whatever task that you've given us to do. God, we thank you for the opportunity to serve you. Opportunity, oh God, to be of service to your kingdom. God, we thank you, Lord, for every gift, every talent that you put on the inside of us. God, we thank you. We acknowledge that we're nothing without you, Lord God. We can't make it without you. We could not have made it this far if it wasn't for you. And so, Lord, we we, we just want to give you praise this morning. We want to thank you for all that you've done for us, God. We thank you for what you did in the past. We thank you for what you're getting ready to do. We thank you for where you're taking us. Lord God, we open up our heart and our mind and our ears to receive your word on today. God, you have a word just for us, and we don't want to miss what you're saying, oh God. So Lord, remove all distractions out of our lives, out of our minds. Lord God, we want to hear from you today. We want to hear what you have to say. So Father God, open up our hearts to receive you on today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we ask right now that you would forgive us of every sin that we have committed in your sight. Hallelujah. Wash us, purify us, cleanse us, Lord God. Touch our hearts this morning, Lord God. Remove anything that goes against your will for our lives. Lord God, here we are. We surrender all to you this morning. And we give every worry, every doubt, all stress, we give it all to you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you, we love you, and we honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There is a powerful word from the Lord this morning. I'm so excited. 
hallelujah, just to be in the land of the living. Glory to God. God bless you. And I just pray that this word would be a blessing to you like it has for me just studying and reading. I just tell you, it's just been amazing. Every day with Jesus is definitely sweeter than the day before. So I'm going to be coming from Luke chapter 10. Very familiar story. We've all heard it many times, especially if you grew up, grew up in, in church, you heard about this story. So we're just going to read it and, and just break it down and make it relevant until to now. You know, we are uh, still going through the pandemic and um, I can sense in the atmosphere that God is getting people back on track. Uh, people are getting refocused on uh, their goals and their dreams, getting refocused back on the things that they set out to do before all of these things uh, began to um, explode in the world. So right now we're in a place where God is repositioning us, getting us back on track. We are being re realigned with God. And I know some people say, well, how can you focus when you still have all of these things going on? Well, see, that's the thing. Hallelujah. What God has planned has nothing to do with what's going on in the world. I'm going to say that again. It has his plans don't have anything what he has for you to do. Glory to God. What's going on around you cannot divert you or make you go. And it, it can't change the plans of God. Why? Why is that? Why? Why? Why are the plans that God has for you? Why is it written in stone? It's because glory to God, because God already predestined for you to be where you are. He already predestined for you to be successful, already predestined for you to have what you've been asking him for. Glory to God. His plans are written. Hallelujah. They're written in stone. They're not going to change just because uh, of a, a presidential election election. They're not going to change because of, of a pandemic. Glory to God. So right now, hallelujah, I've been hearing God say, I'm refocusing. I'm getting my people back into position. Glory to God. You don't have to worry about a pandemic. You don't have to worry about finance. You don't have to worry about that. God has your back. Glory to God. What he said you would do, you're going to do it. It has not changed. Nothing has changed. Glory to God. Those plans that he told you that were going to happen are still going to happen. It's just that we've uh, some things have come. Some things, distractions, glory to God, the virus, the presidential election, just different things have come to cause us to be distracted. But I hear God say, refocus your mind today. Get your mind back on what I told you I wanted you to do. Glory to God. So you ought to say to yourself, God, realign me. Refocus my mind. Renew my mind right now, God. I want to be, I want to get back on track with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is the season for us to be refocused. This is a season for us to realign ourselves. Hallelujah. This is the folk that, yes, say, God, realign me. Realign me. Bring me back to the time when I first received you. Bring me back to the time when I was excited to witness to people. Come on, realign me, Jesus. I want to be refocused. I want to be focused on what you told me to do. I want to focus more on ministry. I want to focus more on teaching your word. I want to pray more like I used to. I want to go in like I used to. I want to feel your presence so strongly like I used to. Lord, realign me in the name of Jesus. Straighten my feet out. Hallelujah. One, some of you got feet going left to right. You don't know where you're going. God, straighten out my feet. Hallelujah. Put my feet back down on solid ground in the name of Jesus. Realign me, oh God. Hallelujah. And so we're going to talk about, about a very familiar uh, uh, story today. Hallelujah. We're going to come from Luke 10 and verse 38. Hallelujah. And it says, as Jesus and the disciples continued on their way, to Jerusalem. They came to a village in Bethany where a woman named Martha welcomed them into her home. Her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he taught. But Martha was worrying over the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and she said, Lord, Yes, Lord. Order my steps. That's right. Glory to God. Order my steps today, Lord. Hallelujah. But Martha was worried over the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come and help me. But the Lord said to her, my dear Martha, you are so upset over 
all these details. Glory to God. There is really only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary, she has discovered it. Hallelujah. And I won't take it away from her. Glory to God. Father God, we thank you for your holy word on today. We thank you that your word is true and is right. Glory to God. Thank you for your word. Hallelujah. So let's, let's talk about what it means to refocus before we dive into the word. Refocus means to adjust the focus of a lens or one's eyes. When I'm refocusing, I'm taking my eyes off of something that does not have to do with anything. Glory to God does not have to do uh, with what's most important. I'm, re I'm adjusting. I'm taking my eyes off of uh, uh, something else. Glory to God. That does not have to do with what I originally set out to focus on. I got to readjust my attention. I got to shift my eyes. Glory to God. And so as this pandemic uh, continues to decrease, glory to God, because we're seeing more cases go down. We're not, it's not as bad as it was. So things are shifting. Hallelujah. And God spoke to me uh, about a month ago. He said in 2021, it's going to be a year of rebuilding. Things are going to be, God is going to start rebuilding. He also showed me a vision of a building. Glory to God. It was a building. Building. I remember it was a pink building. Now, why it was pink, I don't know why it was pink, but it was a pink building. And I just saw so many workers. I saw workers, men just working so vigorously, removing chunks of the building, replacing it. And they were just taking things off and putting new things on. And I just said, oh my goodness, God said, I'm going to rebuild. Hallelujah. My body my people, my bride, I'm going to rebuild you. Glory to God. Give you back everything that you lost. Hallelujah. 2021 is a year of rebuilding. Hallelujah. But first we got to get refocused. We got to take our eyes and put them back on what we set out to do in the beginning of this year. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So when I refocus, I got to do some adjusting. I got to, I got to take my eyes off of the distractions. I got to take my eyes off the world. Glory to God. The word tells me, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I got to renew my mind. How do I renew my mind? I got to readjust. Hallelujah. Adjust my focus back on Jesus. I got to put my mind back on, on his promises. Glory to God. God said he promised. He said he would never leave me nor forsake me. That's a promise that he made to his children. So I got to believe God said he would never leave me. I might not have a job right now. I might be broke. Glory to God. But I got to renew and refocus my mind back to what God said. I know God is real. I know that when he wrote these writings in his word, I know that it was it was true. I know. I know God is not a man that he should should lie. I know he's perfect. I know he's holy. So that means he can't lie. Glory to God. So I got to renew my mind. Hallelujah. I got to refocus. I got to take my eyes off of the distractions of this world. Glory to God. There's so many, so many distractions. So many people pulling me from left to right. So many things, situations, temptations, and setbacks, and letdowns, and disappointments. But through it all, I got to refocus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I, I may not feel like I can refocus. I may feel weary. I may be doubting. Glory to God. But through it all, I got to reach deep down on the inside. I got to reflect back on what God already did in my life. And I got to say, you know what? If Jesus, if God can do those things, if he could heal my body back then, then surely he can do it again. I got to refocus. I got to change what I'm looking at. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I got to get back into it. I got to, I got to get back in the game. Glory to God. Because God said he's going to rebuild my life. So I got to be ready. Hallelujah. I got to be ready to where God is taking me. Glory to God. I got to get ready. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for where he's taking me. Hallelujah. I can't go to my blessing all oh, distracted and confused and, and, and stressed and, and disappointed and sad and depressed. I got to refocus my mind. Lord, realign me. Hallelujah. Refocus my attention back on you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so here we have Martha. She's got her attention and all of her energy. She says, well, we have a guest. This is what we do. 
I got to go prepare dinner. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to, I got to, Mary, why are you not in here helping me, girl? I got to, we got to guess. How dare you sit down when we have to prepare a dinner for our guests? You're being rude. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus says, no, no, Martha. Glory to God. Mary, hallelujah, has chosen the most important thing. Glory to God. She's discovered it. And he says, I won't take it away from her. Glory to God. She has chosen to sit at my feet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. She's chosen to listen to my wisdom. She's chosen the eternal thing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. She's chosen. Hallelujah. The most important thing in this life. Hallelujah. And that is getting to know Jesus for yourself. Glory to God. You can know all about the world. You can know all about the lingo. You can know all about, you can have street sense. Hallelujah. But the only thing that's going to save you is knowing the wisdom of Jesus Christ. Christ. I remember somebody told me, glory to God, somebody told me a couple of months ago, they said, this is what they said. They said, well, you know, uh, you know, you're very godly. You, you know the word. You you you've changed a whole lot, and you 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 you're different. You're you're this. You're that. You know that's good, but you know you got to have street sense. Glory to God. You got to have street sense so that you can uh, know when somebody is fooling you. Glory to God. I want you to know that is a lie. Hallelujah from the pits of hell, and I had to rebuke that. Glory to God. I don't have to have no street sense. Glory to God. I'm reminded. Hallelujah that God can give me the wisdom that I need. No matter where I am, no matter where I, I, I'm going, glory to God, I can be in a foreign land and God can still give me the wisdom that I need in order for me to be successful. Hallelujah. I had to rebuke that. Glory to God in my mind. I had to rebuke that. I, I, I ain't got to have no street sense. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't have to have no street sense. God is able to give me the wisdom that I need. I can be God. Listen to this. God can put you on a job. Are you hearing me today? He can put you on a job and you may not have been there as long as somebody else. Sister so-and-so might have been on that job for 10 years and more and God will put you in that position. And for some reason, the boss sees something inside of you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That he may not see in sister so-and-so. Are you hearing me today? I'm talking about the favor of God. The favor of God can put you in high positions, even though you you know you don't have the experience. You don't have the uh, 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 work experience that you know you should have. But because you belong to God, he can take you and elevate you into places that you know that you might not even deserve to be in. Are you hearing me on today? So I don't have to have street sense in order for me to see the devil for who he is. Because God says... I can have, hallelujah, discernment. Through discernment, I'm able to look through situations and know that that's just not God. See, that's the thing that you receive. Those are the gifts that you get when you follow, when you refocus your attention back on God. God can show you things, hallelujah, that other people cannot see. That's just who he is. Glory to God. So it's not based on me having worldly wisdom. I'm going to say that again. It's not based on me having worldly knowledge. Hallelujah. Because at the end of the day, God says, that's not going to save me. I can have all the street sense in the world, but that's not going to save me. The only thing that's going to save me is the word of God. Hallelujah. I got to know God for myself. And so Mary says, <laughs> glory to God. Hallelujah. Mary says, I ain't bothered about you, Martha. Glory to God. I'm in the presence Hallelujah of the Holy One. Glory to God. I'm in the presence of the, of the Son of God. I'm in the presence of the Prince of Peace and the Lord of Lords. I'm in the I'm in the presence. Glory to God of a king. I ain't got time to be going in the kitchen. I got to sit down and listen to what God is saying. And so some of us are just like Martha. 
We know the routine. We know the traditions of men. We know we got street sense. We know how to put things together. We know how to talk to people. We know how to act when we get around certain people. But the thing about it, do you know, hallelujah, do you know God? Do you know Jesus for yourself? Why are you doing what you're doing? Are you doing it to please men? Are you doing it because that's just tradition? That's just the way we do it. Glory to God. But is it is it pleasing God? That's the question. Is it pleasing God? And so listen to this. And this is really going to blow your mind. Glory to God. So hallelujah. So often uh, in the Jewish tradition, listening to any rabbi was only reserved for men. I'm going to say that again. Listening to any rabbi was only reserved for men. It was unusual for a woman to stop and listen to a rabbi or, or even sit down. That was almost taboo. Glory to God. You were not allowed to do that. Women were only allowed to be in the, in the women's quarters. So Mary was doing something that was out of the ordinary. Glory to God. So Hallelujah. So she basically stepped out of the traditional role when she should have been in the women's quarters. Hallelujah. So isn't that interesting? Jesus was not concerned about their tradition. Hallelujah. He, he fully approved Mary sitting down at his feet. Hallelujah. He encouraged Martha. He said, you so worried about the routine. You need to be sitting down. My God, exactly. You need to be sitting down at my feet trying to get all of this wisdom. Because remember, in the, in the next chapter, Jesus knows that he's getting ready to be betrayed. He knows that Judas is going to sell him out. He already knew that it, it, his time was, was, was short. He knew that he was getting ready to die. And so, you know, he said, you need to be sitting down getting all of this wisdom. Number one, Jesus ain't worried about tradition. He's not worried about your routine. All he wants is for you to want him more than anything. Mary wanted him more than anything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What else is this saying? It's saying that Jesus don't care whether you're female or male. He just wants all of us to be listening. He wants us, us to want him more than anything. He wants us to do and preach and teach his word. He's not worried about if you male or female. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So what are you putting all your energy into? Glory to God. Just think about it. I know you got a business. I know you, I know you, you're a mom, you're a stay-at-home mom. I know you you got to go to work. I know you got meetings. What are you putting all your energy into? Ask yourself. Am I giving God the same energy that I put into my business? What am I putting my energy into? Am I putting it all into that man or that woman? What are you putting your energy into? Uh, does God have a place in your life? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We often lose sight of what is most important in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We got so many distractions, so many things that are pulling us from here to there. But we got to put our eyes back on the most important thing. And he said, it's not going to be taken away from her. Why? Glory to God. Because Jesus is eternal. Life after death is eternal. When you know God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we got to reflect on what we originally set out to do in this season. I'm talking about in the fall, the autumn, you know, fall and autumn are my favorite seasons. You know why? Because this time of year, you know, things are, we see leaves falling out the trees. We see things dying, but we know that in springtime, they're going to come back to life. Glory to God. Things start to re be reborn. Things start to, to die away. Glory to God. And it's the same thing for our lives. Things in our lives that shouldn't be there start to start to die. God starts to purge us of things that we don't need. Hallelujah. And we start to think back on what we said we wanted to do. We re, we're being reborn. We replenished, restored and renewed. Glory to God. And so now, yes, glory to God. Now is the time for you, my sister and my brother, to reflect 
on what you orig originally set out to do? What gave you the motivation that you once had? W what gave you joy? You, you used to get up and be glad to read the word, excited about feeding a homeless, excited about giving to the homeless shelter. You used to be excited about going to the women's shelter. What happened? What, 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 what causes us to become so bored with our routine and what we used to do? And I'll tell you, we put too much in, in energy into our routine and traditions. God says, hallelujah, I'm going to refresh you today. I'm going to renew you today. Right now, God is reminding you of the joy that you once had about doing his work. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I got to reflect. I got to reflect back on why I do what I do. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Realign me, Lord. Realign me. Hallelujah. Remind me. Remind me. Take me back to when I first received you. Glory to God. All those things I said I was going to do for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I told you I, I was going to win souls for the kingdom. I told you I was going to witness for you. I told you I was going to sing your praises. I told you I was going to open up this business and give it back to you. These are the things I told you I was going to do. But somewhere, I don't know, somewhere down the line, I forgot all about those things. And I allow people to take up all of my time. I've allowed even my marriage to take up all of my time. And I forgot all about those things, I promised you. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. You ought to say, Lord, take me back and realign me. Hallelujah, am I too busy doing things that I do not have any time for you? Glory to God, hallelujah. Am I, have I got too busy? Have I got too uh, used to the routine that I've lost the joy that I once had? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You ought to say right now, God, help me to not lose sight of my mission in you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, help me to not lose sight of my mission in you. Glory be to God. You know, we live in a, in a world where people tend to measure their worth by how busy they are, how much they accomplish, and, and how they meet the expectation of, of others. Isn't that true? We tend to base our worth off of how busy we are. We think the more we do, the more worth we have, the more important we are. But how many of you know God ain't looking at none of that? It, he's looking at this right here. Yes. He's looking at this right here. He's looking at why you do what you do. And so faith without works is dead. We know that. But at the same time, God is still looking at the heart. Hallelujah. You, you could be, you could be, I mean, busy in ministry. You could be witnessing like crazy. You could be preaching and teaching. You could be doing all of these things. But if your heart is not right, glory to God. Hallelujah. It's not pleasing God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is not looking at how busy you are. He's looking at your heart. Why, you're, why are you so busy? Are you doing it because you really love God and you have a passion for his children? You love people and you just want to see them make it to heaven? Why are you doing what you are doing? Glory be to God. My worth, hallelujah, and I'm coming to a close. My worth is not based on how much I'm doing. But it's based, hallelujah, God loves me in spite of anything, but it's based on my heart. Glory to God. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Glory to God. Doesn't matter how people feel about me. Doesn't matter who is upset or disappointed because I didn't do what they wanted me to do. At the end of the day, I got to refocus my attention. I got to remind myself, hallelujah, that I'm doing what I'm doing because I love God. And Mary, she understood that. She wasn't worried about no tradition. She wasn't worried about Martha. She said, I love Jesus. This man is powerful. He has something that I need. He got something that's going to be worth my time. I'm not worried about what you're doing, but I'm going to sit down, quiet myself. Glory to God. Take my eyes off of myself and focus my attention on Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Lord God, we need you to re, 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 realign us today. We want to refocus back on you, Lord God. Touch us right now, God. Touch that woman. Touch that man. Father God, we want you to realign us. We want to be focused on you like never before. God, you're getting ready to take your people to places we never thought we would go. And we want to be ready. We want to be secure. We want to be strong. We want to be courageous. We want to be bold. We want. We don't want to get there and not know what to do because we still got our mind focused on distractions. Lord God, help us to never get so busy. So busy, so busy and, and, and things that's not even going to not it's not even going to it's not worth anything to us. We want to keep our focus and attention on your word and what you told us to do. We ask that you would just renew us right now. Start us over in the name of Jesus. Start us over in our spirituality. Start us over, oh God, in our minds. Start us over in our hearts. We want to get back on track in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in today. Hallelujah. Limitless in Christ. God bless you. I think I, I, I remember you. Um, what is your name? Glory to God. I pray that the, the, this word was uh, was uh, easy to understand uh, today. I pray that it spoke to your heart. Um, but seriously, God really wants us to get back on track in this season. It's so imperative. And I hear him say that all the time. Uh, the other day I heard God say every second matters. Every second is worth is 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 a serious thing. Every second counts. Glory to God. And we are wasting, wasting our time worrying about things. Glory to God. They don't have anything to do with where God is taking us. We got to put our focus back on, on God. So I pray that you were blessed today. Um God bless you. Thank you so much again for just tuning in. I pray that you have a wonderful day. Um I didn't, um, what is your name? Glory to God. I just want to, my Yunda. Oh, I, I remember you. God bless you. I know I haven't been on here in a while, so I just decided to come on today. But God bless you, my sister in Christ. I pray God will continue to do great things in your life. Hallelujah. God is going to take you places you never thought you would go. Glory to God. We always, sometimes we think we're too old or we don't have enough, but God can do the impossible. Hallelujah. He can put people in our lives to uh, uh, bless us uh, and take us places. Glory to God. Give us more information uh, about something that we, we wanted to do. God can do some, some impossible things that we think are impossible. He can do it. Glory to God. But we got to refocus. Hallelujah. Thank you. And blessings to your family as well. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, may God continue to bless you and prosper you and keep you is my prayer in Jesus name. God bless.